Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren and believe it or not somebody challenged me, Meathead, uh, over at Meathead's channel, challenged me to a cook and that I guess what they did was uh, a non-vegan sandwich. Somebody had challenged him to do a non-vegan sandwich and he did a big old nasty burger and you can see his video linked in the description below. I mean he made a big old huge burger with all different kinds of meats and used ham as a bun. I'm not going to go that kind of crazy, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some things that I made homemade from scratch that you've seen, you can see in some of the other videos that I'll post up in the uh, cards above. Um, one of them is going to be a video I just did not too long ago with my homemade beer and cheddar brats. I'm going to make, use that in the sandwich, my homemade bacon that I made myself. I'm going to chop up some of that and use that in the sandwich. And I just did a roast that I sous vide and, um, and seared. So I'm going to do some roast beef. Then I'm going to make some onions and peppers and a nice mustard sauce to go with the brats that uh, are going to go real well. But we're going to put it, we're going to make it like a bee. You know, everything is a bee except for the peppers and onions. Some bratwurst, bacon, beef, and burrito. So I'm going to make it in a burrito shell. Make it kind of easy. I'm gonna cook it on uh, the Kamado to Joe today on the griddle, and make it all marry all real well together. So, let me get it all set up, and I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, the grill is almost up to temp, and I got my bacon, my my beef, my brats, and what I'm gonna do with my brats, I'm gonna go ahead and slice them in half, just so we can get them to cook about the same time as the bacon gets done. So I'm just gonna. Give it a nice slice. So we're gonna lay it on the grill flat. Just don't want that being raw in the middle. So just a nice slice there. Not all the way through, just enough so I can lay them flat. And what I decided to do also is I added, I don't have any fresh mushrooms today. I didn't go, get to go to the store yesterday, but I had some canned mushrooms. I threw some of those in with the peppers and onions. I put my mustard sauce together which is real easy. All I did is I took uh, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of golden spicy brown. You can use Dijon. You can use any kind of mustard you like. And then uh, about a about a two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce and just mix that up. Um, that'll make a nice little sauce for our sandwich. I'm going to go ahead and season this all together on the grill with my beef rub, which is salt, pepper and garlic a little olive oil and then we're going to toss some of this um, Mexican style shredded cheese from Costco on there and then we're going to throw it all on a burrito shell and eat it up so I'm getting ready to go out and throw all this all stuff on the grill pretty good up to temp right now and um, I'm going to throw the two things on here that I know we're going to take the longest to cook one of them being the bratwurst so I'm going to put a little oil down See how that's shimmering and they're sizzling already and my bacon so no, that's going to take a little bit don't need any oil down for that I'm going to let them cook up a little bit before we throw anything else All right, on. guys my bacon and sausage pretty much done Bacon's nice and crispy. I'm going to go ahead and throw my veggies on. Especially some of that bacon grease and olive oil that's on there. These won't take long. I'm going to hit them with a little bit of the beef rub. Salt, pepper, garlic. Kind of put my bacon and sausage over here. Keep warm. Just get all nice and sweated down. I'm going to go ahead and throw my beef over on this side so it can start heating up. I'm going to hit that with a little bit of the rub. Not too much. I don't want it too salty. 
right, and we're going to let that cook up all for right. a couple minutes. Got my mushrooms and peppers and onions are all whew, nice and sweated down real good. Got my meat, beef's all ready to go. I think of what I'm going to do is put some of this cheese, put a little bit on all of it. Then we'll mix it all up in the burrito shell. I'm going to put a little bit on everything here and let it all melt down. Then we'll take it off and take it inside and make all our right. sandwich. Looks like it's nice and melted. I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff off, put it on the pan, and we're going to take it in there and build our sandwich. Whew. Man, that looks good. I don't know if it beats Meathead's burger, but this is going to be a pretty right, darn guys, good sandwich. I got sandwich. it back in here, and it is ready. Got my burrito shell warmed up a little bit. Just toss it in the microwave just to get it kind of nice and warm. So I'm going to take this sandwich. If you look, it's pretty big. It's got that two pieces of sausage. It's got the bacon, roast beef, onions, peppers, mushrooms. Boy, I don't know if it's going to fit in that one burrito shell. It's pretty big. I want to try it. I'll make it like a big old beef and bacon and pork taco. I'm going to put a little bit of this sauce on there. It's going to be kind of messy. hope you guys are uh, ready for this. Put a nice dose of this sauce on. All right. Let me get a paper towel. I know I'm going to need it. This is going to be ugly. Smells delicious though. Ah, my paper towel fell. I need another one. All right, guys, let me get a bite of this. It's still kind of hot. Whew, some of that sauce in there. That's a big boy. Got bratwurst, bacon, beef, onions, peppers, mushrooms, cheese, mustard sauce, and here we go. Mmm. It's all nice and hot. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Taste that bratwurst. Homemade bratwurst, homemade bacon, homemade roast beef, cheese, on a burrito. Well, here you have it, guys. I hope this challenge uh, was uh, fulfilling. I'm going to go ahead and tag a couple in, down below in the description. But Eric at Smoke King is one of them. Um, I'm also going to tag, I think I'm going to, don't know if they've been tagged in this yet, um, Rye from Cooking with Rye, I'm going to tag him as well, so I might pick out another one down the road, but look down below guys, check out all the stuff that this was, was in this, follow us on Facebook, follow us on uh, Instagram, and like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications and I'll see you again soon.